Hello! Uh, I don't know why I keep doing that intro, but hello. Today we're going to be reviewing Transformers Dark of the Moon Deluxe Class Barricade. Now, I do really love Barricade. I love his little weapon thing. I love the police car. It's just, mine doesn't go well in vehicle mode. Um, that's really sad because I love Barricade. He's like my favorite um, Decepticon in the movie second to Soundwave. On to the transformation. But before we do that I just want to take a quick look at this weapon. This weapon amazing. I just wish it was gray. If that was, if this was gray, perfect. I could, like, spray paint it, but not gonna do that, because I don't want to. So, the Transform Barricade take his back bumper, like, fold it down like that, and come under, fold the feet up. Next, split him like that. So it kind of looks like a big whale. So take these two panels out, separate them, and fold them out like that. Then put the feet down, stand the figure up. Split the feet apart. All right, there's half the transformation. Now to the other half. Hold what will become the arms up. Fold this whole piece up. Fold the head up. A lot of folding. Fold these two panels up. Uh, take the hands, put them out like that. Oh god, I didn't even just talk. Uh, Okay, now, there's, here's, for me, what the hard part is. We're not done with the top, like, the arms. So, start by unpicking this up and flipping it around ah, to cover the windshield. Ah. And then, slowly, don't get it caught on it. Oh, gosh. Come on, this piece came off, but it's easy to put back on. Just gotta click that back on. I just like to leave it there. Now to finish up the arms, take, move this piece, and fold it up, slide it up. And then just clip the, wind, the back of the windshields in and they might fall out when you do this. So I just gotta quickly put this in and I'm not gonna cut it out. Don't know why. Probably because I don't have an editor. I'm trying not to get my shirt in the way like with last time. All right, here is Barricade. Oh no. Posability wise, head is on a ball joint. Arms move up, all around. Both arms, fingers kind of move. Elbow moves to, also to the side. Uh, knee moves in two places. Uh, chest sort of moves. Uh, feet move, and that's on both legs. And to put the weapon in. Hold the thumb in until it clicks in, and just slide that in the little hole. There we go, there's Barricade, and uh, yeah, I really do like this figure. Comparison time, let's just set him on the back. Oh, oh no, no room reveal yet. <laughs> um... 
was just getting standing upright. Alright. Let's compare them to the bumblebee that I reviewed a little while ago. Oh, it's my shadow. Um, I don't have any other comparisons, like usual. Um, oh. But I do really, really enjoy having this figure in my set, because I remember I needed more Decepticons, because I got that Superion, and that came with, like, six figures, and usually I don't combine them into Superion muck, so... Yeah, <laughs> uh, like, this figure, wait, I don't know, just take a look at that head sculpt, like, I'm amazed how much they could, how much detail they could get this in, and, yeah, <laughs> oh. yeah, nah, oh god, the cardboard box is falling, okay, it's fine, I think, um, but yeah, you can get them into some pretty, poses my favorite is like just the leap then you can have something like uh right. then you can have something like someone please screenshot that um Yeah, it's just a really, really, really good figure. Uh, check out the review on the Bumblebee. I'm not going to put it up there. No, no. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a really, really good figure. It's, I mean, I'm blown away on how much detail they could get this, they could get onto this guy, because... I mean, I do wish it had the little... I don't know. I forget. It's somewhere on the arm, but it was like a little spike thing that they had on like the doors, and that would pop out on the handles. Uh, but this guy could be taller. But no, they choose to keep him like that. I seriously think that they should be like that. But what are you going to do about that? Uh, I just want to take another <laughs> quick look at this weapon. Doesn't this look so menacing? Like, can this cut through this cardboard? It made a hole. No, I don't have scissors right next to me. Um, I when I got this, I didn't expect it to be this little. I thought it would be like a lot bigger. Oh. Eyelash reveal. Getting close to a face reveal. No, no. If all of you that are viewing this are subscribed, then I maybe will. Um, oh, and the windshield came off again. Uh. Yeah, like that's another disclaimer about this figure. When you get it, pieces are gonna easily come off. But you can easily put them back on. What an easily. Yeah, there be. Oh, there's my garbage can. Don't even know if you can hear it. Um, this guy does have quite long feet. 
because, like, just take a look at Bumblebee's feet and then take a look at Barricade's feet. Big difference. The I just want to see is the real test. Skids. Transformer skids. I don't know about skids. Let's see if he, if Barricade can outmatch his toe. No. They're about the same size. Why, how does Barricade have that long feet? I'm not gonna do a review on skids because he's missing a lot of parts. Because he's missing this, he's missing the upper half. Whole thing. All right, back in the Transformers bucket, you go. Oh, bum. Bumblebee missed. Um, you, I do like it better on the other hand. Doesn't really go well with this hand, but it's better with this hand. <laughs> I mean, come on. And I do like the dive. Ah, well, that's a lot of lighting. I do like the two jointed knees idea. It's um, necessary for the transformation, but I do like the posability in robot mode. <coughs> oh, I'm sick today. Uh, but uh, yeah, um, so I might, like on July 4th, weekend i might not post for three days and you might be asking why i'm going i'm going on vacation and no i cannot bring this so yeah so yeah this figure is like one of my best figures that i have and this video is getting kind of long not as long as 15 minutes, so I guess let's do my ending.